Tough-talking South Korean President Park Geun-hye has demanded an apology from North Korea for recent landmine explosions in the demilitarized zone, or DMZ, separating the two states. Pyongyang denies responsibility for the incident, which wounded two South Korean soldiers. In response to the blasts, Seoul restarted the age-old practice of broadcasting anti-North Korea propaganda across the DMZ. We need a clear apology and measures to prevent a recurrence of these provocations. Otherwise, this government will take the appropriate steps and continue its loudspeaker broadcasts, said the South Korean president. Last week, an exchange of artillery fire over the DMZ saw Pyongyang issue its neighbor with an ultimatum, stop broadcasting by Saturday or face military action. Although Seoul refused, top officials from the two states agreed to meet in the Panmunjom truce village in the DMZ. Marathon talks ensued, which were still in progress when Park Geun-hye issued the demand for an apology. State-run television in Pyongyang has released its own propaganda purporting to show North Korea's citizens readying for a fight.